washing machine from one of our rentals, but we're going to get to go do some goodwilling today. Um, I hope to go to St. Vincent's and Salvation Army, so I'll let you know what I picked up today. Hi friends. Well, it's taken me most of the week to get back to my video. It's been a crazy week. It's a been really hot here in, in northern Nevada, so we spend a lot of time watering and trying to keep things alive. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you what I picked up last week. Uh, thrifting. Um, my grandson and I went and we had a lot of fun and we picked up some great things. And these are all the things that I'll be having at my next whatnot sale. I've had a heck of a time getting my whatnot to go, just schedule-wise and um, technology wise but I, I'm still trying so I want to show you some of the fun things that we picked up this week here's a couple pieces of beautiful pottery they are signed and um, we paid two dollars for these so we know that they have more value than that but aren't they pretty the colors so that was the one of the first things we got. Staying with the pottery, I picked up this oversized mug with with kind of an incandescent look to it. And then this is raised up here. Again, this is signed by somebody. So um, this was uh, two dollars. So I'll do I'll do better on that. This I picked up merely because it was a blue sky item, and I, I liked it, but I do like blue sky things. This is just a little trinket box, and it was $1.99, and I know that I'll be able to do okay on that. <clears throat> Pick this up. Kind of fun. It's a pottery kind of wind chime, but it's signed, and when I looked it up, uh, Stefan, his... Uh, his wind chimes have some value. So I looked it up. I paid $4.99 and it was 10% off for old people like me. So that makes it what? Like $4.50. And so I think, excuse me, um, I'm going to try and get $15 out of it. So we'll see how that goes. Also, love this color here. Thought it was just really pretty. And this too has a marking on the bottom. I can't remember. I think this was $2.99. So um, we'll get more than that for it. And I think it's just so pretty. And I like these together. This is one of those uh, cups that I was showing you earlier. All right. Um, pick these up. These are in some of the bags, one of the bags at Savers. And Savers um, on Tuesdays here has 30% off. So it pays to go on Tuesdays. But anyway, these were in one of the bags. So aren't they cute little, uh, I think they're tea bag holders. But cats always do well, it seems. All right, one of my favorite things I picked up was this. Isn't it so beautiful? And it is signed right there. This will be in my whatnot sale. It's just so pretty. Love it, love, love it. Okay, what else did we find? Uh, some vintage kitchen stuff. You know, these were in kitchens in the 50s and 60s. This is a pocket. You know, you hang it on the wall and you put things in it. This was $3.49 and, and it was, uh, again, 30% off. So I got it for what? Like $2.50, $2.75. Really cute. I'll do, we'll do well on that. We can get 10 to 15 for those. And here was another one, which was interesting. They were both there. A uh, little kitchen pair. Again, it's a pocket. Uh, this has uh, part of the, the label on the back. So that adds to it. And again, I think I can get 15 for this. These were again are on my whatnot sale. So check it out. 
Okay, just this little thing. We sell a lot of bears, so I did pick up this little counted cross stitch for 99 cents, which ended up being about, what, 75 cents. So that's cute. I think it'd be cuter in a different frame, but we'll let the buyer do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, this was a very fun thing to get. This is a homemade doll. Nothing spectacular about it, except that when you look at it, this is actual buckskin, which the Native Americans used around here. Um, I can't speak for all of the tribes, but I know the tribes around here, they made things out of buckskin. And it's just beautiful. And therefore, uh, this beadwork was added to that as well. And this is a very interesting provenance to it. This, It had this ribbon on here that this person had entered um, this into a fair at some point. So unfortunately, this is not dated, but I w it was from the Lodi Grape Festival National Wine Show. So anyway, this I paid uh, $5 for it with 30% uh, off, and um, I think I can get 60 for her. Um, we sell a lot of Native American things at the store, and the buckskin is always very desirable. All right, so there's that. That was fun. This is a kitschy thing, but people do like these. In fact, we just sold one the other day at the store for $12. So this guy was, I think he was a dollar. So um, we'll be able to do fine with him. Also picked up a couple Boyd's Bear stuff. Those always sell well for us. This one was 99 cents, and um, it's got the tag that says Boyd's on it, so we'll do okay with that. There was also another Boyd's item here. Oh, yes, I buried it. This is a rabbit, not quite as desirable, but a bigger one. So we, we, we're going to do fine with this one, too. This one was $3.49, and we'll, we'll probably be able to get 12 to 15 for it. So that's a pretty good return. Uh, this is kind of fun. This is not old, but it has that country country look to it. So um, I know we can do well on it. We paid $2 for it. I can probably get 12 to 15 at the store. It's just got that farmhouse look to it, and it's a great blue color. So I picked that up as well. Picked up these two pottery pieces thinking they were a set of goblets, but then I got to looking at them. And they're different sizes, you can see there. They're very attractive, though. We'll see how we do. Um, I was hoping that they were a set, but they're not. They're just, they're related. I think they're cousins. So um, I paid $2 each for those. And, of course, I'll be able to get more than that for them. So there you go. This collectible. Pick this up for... Uh, Let's see, it was, it would have been $2.50, this little child's cup. It had this saucer with it. This is not the original saucer, I don't think. But um, we should be able to do all right with that. Just as sweet as can be. All right. Winding down here, getting to some of my favorite items. One of them is this. Fish. How cute is that? This was four dollars. I think I can get fifteen for him, fifteen to twenty. Isn't he cute? No chips or cracks. Just a cute fish. Put him with my other fish. All right, this is a, a mug that I picked up, and it's signed. I'm not sure I know what that means but I looked this cup up and this was 99 cents and these cups book from 12 to 15 so we'll do fine on it it's very heavy it's a very substantial mug so I like that when I was at Savers I saw a friend of mine that I hadn't seen for months and I said oh Laurie is that you and she said, oh my gosh, you know, and we got to chatting and everything, and then we went our separate ways. And then she said, this looks like your dog. She said, this looks just like your dog. I said, oh, it kind of does. And I, I thought it was one of those ones. 
from Uruguay, sure enough. Rin, Rin Canada, I think is what it said. I picked this up. I got it for $3. I know I can get at least $10 for them. And I especially love it because I used to show Old English Sheepdogs. And this is, I believe, an Old English Sheepdog. So anyway, I was meant to have that because she pointed it out to me. So thank you, Lori, for that. And let's see. This piece, I picked this up. This was $4.99, so on sale was $4.50. It, um, it's got kind of a ragged edge there. I don't think it's a flaw. But anyway, when I look this up, I believe this is an old McCoy piece. It's an old piece of pottery, for sure. So um, I just really like it. It's a very primitive looking piece, very nice. And I think I can get 35 for it. That's what I'm going to shoot for anyway. So there you have it, folks. Um, a good day of or a good day of thrifting in Reno. We'll be going again on Tuesday, and I'll share you with you some of the things, and I'll report back to you how I did on my whatnot sale. Um, I don't. I don't have a lot of luck with it, but I am so technolo technologically disadvantaged. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at this stuff and um, keep looking for fun things. It's, it's brought me a lifetime of joy. So be well, friends.